PC Junior Lacrosse season has wrapped up with the exception of the Mental Cup playing out here at the Langley Event Center and the BC Lacrosse team favored to take the championship, Coquitlam Adnax hosting this one along with the CLA and this is just an exceptional undertaking. Join me Mr. Ken Wood. Ken, uh, big undertaking but boy oh boy is there ever pressure on the home team. Oh, there's always tremendous pressure on the home team, right? But um, Coquitlam's up for it. Uh, you know, we, we had a really great Western final and, uh, and a BC championship, so they got themselves seasoned and ready to go. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a couple games, I think, before both these teams fill each other out because they haven't seen each other. For the first time tonight, I saw a sloppy play in the first one both, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward. I think the fans are going to see some exceptional lacrosse here by both squads. So, you know, they should all be here, and if they're not, they should arrive. They're going to see some entertaining sports. Very much so. Be the season in general for you, was it expect what you expected of it? Overall for the league? I think overall for the league. I think uh, we saw some of our uh, our teams that traditionally are at the bottom get themselves up a little further. And that tells me that they've got their good management in place and they're doing some good drafting. So I was pleased to see that. Um, we've had our concussion protocol in place, which is the first full season of it. That seems to be going well because we had a lot of players would sit out this year, so, which is good. We want their health in place. Um, I think the top two, three, four teams were about what everybody expected. And uh, we ended up with a, with a BC final that I'm pretty sure every uh, lacrosse uh, enthusiast knew that was how that was going to go. Uh, I'm just not too sure they all expected the game seven that they saw. No, the, the final between Coquitlam and New West, what a thrilling game series. Oh, unbelievable and top entertainment. I mean, you know, it always comes down to the best athletes performing at their best. And I think everybody that was at that game saw one particular individual, Wesley Berg, uh, pretty much do exactly that. Uh, rise to what everybody expected him to do, put it on his shoulders, won the game. What's involved with the league for bringing this event out to British Columbia? Well, you know what, it's taken a lot to get it back to this two-team, seven-game format. A lot of negotiations, uh, a lot of hard work, uh, but it's something that uh, even the Ontario gr uh, group and Dean McLeod, the commissioner there, him and I had preliminary talks about how do we get back to this. Um, this is what the fans want. The fans have been telling us for 10 to 12 years, they want to see the two teams best of seven. So, you know, you don't have that happen easily. Uh, the governors of the BC Junior A League backed me uh, thoroughly and said, hey, go be our advocate, go be our negotiator, get it done. We want to go back to it. It took uh, a long time, uh, but you can see what we got now. And I, I think it's going to be much more enjoyable from a, from a fan perspective. I know the, the players love it better. What brought that to fruition as to why the change? Just the pressure put on by the teams or, or the league in general? It was really, you know, to be honest with you, it was our league stepping up first. Uh, we had seen that there's, there was no profit being made when before you put on a Man Cup, you put on a Minto Cup, you put on a President's Cup, you can make money and in a, in a sport that needs money, you need to be looking at those things. It wasn't happening with the four-team format. Expenses were rising, revenues were lowering. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what needs to happen. But, you know, you have to respect the fact that we have to grow the Junior A game as well. Uh, Alberta was wanting to do that, trying their best to do it. I think 10 years was a good, uh, shall we say, testing out period. And I think we saw the results. I think it would be better in the future that we see maybe them coming into our league, playing within our league, and that way they get better and uh, we stay with this uh, two-team format East versus West. Doesn't help having the, or doesn't hurt rather, having the Vancouver Stealth in the area playing out of the Langley Event Center. A lot of players, they want to go from this level on to the next level. That says so much about the growth for lacrosse. Oh, absolutely. Actually, we were ecstatic that uh, the NL came back to Vancouver and that the Vancouver Stealth are here. It's very important that we had the Ravens here in their time. It's also extremely important that uh, the Stealth are here. Uh, it is a promotional tool as well as for the players to see where they can go, but it's also the, young, the younger kids see, hey, I can play up there in the pros one day. Those are the pros. So it, it's all sort of it all comes together in the same parcel so we were really excited to have them back they've been great partners to the uh, BC Junior 8 community and uh, we look forward to a bright future with them around I commend the league and the teams in the BC Junior A lacrosse for their involvement 
with the minor program regardless of the area and the team they're with. Oh, and, and that has always been the key. Even when I played, it was the key, uh, is, the, is the junior players going back and coaching. And uh, all of our teams probably can point to five or six guys, on, if not more, on each one of their teams that go back and coach in minor. So important, because you're learning the game from the guys that are playing it. Not from dads, no problem with dads, but if they haven't played the game at this level, it's completely different. So it's very important. It's, that's how hockey grows, that's how soccer grows, and that's very much how lacrosse has grown, even up to this point. Can you see the growth of lacrosse taking off in Saskatchewan and Manitoba besides just BC and Al Alberta now and Ontario? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're, we're having discussions right now about the possibility of forming a more national junior program based along the lines of what uh, Junior A hockey is doing already. And we use that as the model so people get the idea of what we're talking about. Saskatchewan has a team. Are they ready? Are they capable of winning a Minto Cup? They'll tell you no and most people will tell you no. But how are they ever to get there if they're not playing with the level of competition that you see out on the floor here? You can't do. We already proved it through Alberta. When they played in a league of their own, and then you asked them to come and play at a Minto Cup, so you're asking them to play basically a, a normal speed and then come to the NASCAR speed. You can't do that. So Manitoba's got a little bit more years to go, but we're trying to get them as well. Quebec, we've had great conversations with Quebec, and Quebec's saying, you know what? We understand we may not be competitive, but we got teams and we'd like to get in on this. And I'll tell you right now, Steve, the only way lacrosse, in my personal opinion, grows is if Junior A grows. Because we feed the Senior A teams and the pros. You get more kids playing, they've got more talent to choose from. And our game will only grow. So we're having those conversations. Uh, again, long negotiations, long talks. How do we do this? How does it happen? Uh, you got to understand we're not hockey. So, you know, they got, they got to the, get their heads around, how do you travel, what do we do with the players, but if they can do it in hockey, we can do it in lacrosse. We just got to say, let's get it done. Don't tell me why we can't. Let's just say, let's get it done. And no such thing as saying we can't do it. No, I, you know, I, I personally don't like when I hear that, because then I get my, my dander up even more because there's no reason why we can't. And the only reason we can't is because we don't want to. Well now, we're running into a lot of people that have played the game before, that are living in Quebec, living in Saskatchewan, are saying, no, no, we want to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I came out of the Montreal meetings uh, very excited uh, and, and, and boy, that we could possibly do this. And you know what? We have to do it. Otherwise, we'll never grow this game. It will not grow to stay where it is. And I don't want to see that. No, I don't blame you. Ken, thank you very much for doing this. All the success down the road. And I appreciate everything you do for the game well and I thank you and your help and support throughout the year has always been fantastic so please continue I will thank you Ken. All appreciate right. it Take care. thank you for your time